loves welcome back to my channel in my last video you saw highlights from our family trip to england it was so beautiful we had such an amazing time we managed to do everything we planned on doing it was really more than we expected it was so beautiful we had such an amazing time with our family friends and now i'm back for today I have a few things I want to do. Mainly, I want to start the day slowly. I don't want to be in a rush. Even though I'm working, I don't want to put pressure on myself. I hate the feeling of being back to reality after a trip, especially when I had such an amazing time and I loved everything about our trip. I just need a few days to adjust to my normal reality. So this morning I decided to just take it easy and I'm taking you with me to a slow self-care morning in my life. As I would like to spend the whole morning just sitting outside in the balcony I don't think it's a wise idea so I actually have to run some errands so I am getting ready I have moisturizer on so I'm just gonna ice roll my face a little bit since we came back I am noticing redness like around here on my face and I feel it more sensitive than usual I don't know if it's just from the traveling, I was following all the steps in my skincare when we were on our trip. It shouldn't be because of the trip, I don't know. But ice roll feels really nice. So let's talk about shopping. I don't like to spend too much money on things just because we're on a trip or just because I want to buy something. So everything I buy have to be really important, needed, one of a kind that I cannot find anywhere else or is a really good deal. Even if I have extra money, I don't like to spend everything. I don't need to spend everything. If I find something good, I, I can buy it. But if I don't, I don't push it too much. So on our trip, I actually got a few things. For me, everything was wise, really suits my style or practical that I would use often and I'm really happy with everything I got. When people travel, they have certain things they like to do. There are people who like to just go around, experience the city, go to a traditional restaurant or you know, the typical places like we were in London, so of course we went to Big Ben, we went to um, the British Museum and those like traditional tourist things to do. But this time we really wanted to do something a little bit outside of that, so we actually chose a specific stores or streets we want to go. My daughter wanted to see the Lego store, so we went to a few. I wanted just to walk on the Soho, Oxford Street, those places that it's really aesthetic and beautiful and clean. 
one of our main things we wanted to do and we actually did it is to go outside of London, like in the countryside of England. I really love the atmosphere. I love the architecture. I love just walking on the street, breathing the air, experiencing the atmosphere. I really loved it. We found so many charity stores. It's not for everyone, I guess, but for me, all the charity stores we found was so great. There were such a good deals there. If I was living there and I could actually bring those things straight at home and not flying on a plane with them, I would buy more than I actually did. One of my favorite things I got on the whole trip is this book about all the covers that Audrey Hepburn did. It's really beautiful, beautiful book just to look at the picture, just to get inspired. It's the perfect coffee table book if you're a fashion lover or fan of Audrey Hepburn in general. When I saw this in one of the charity stores, I was like, that's me. If I don't get anything else on the trip and just that, I'm fine with it. So those type of things you cannot find anywhere. It might be old and someone doesn't need it anymore. It might be just one of a kind. That's what I love about those stores that you cannot find those things on a regular store or at the mall. That's what I'm looking when I go shopping. It doesn't matter if it's for clothes, for accessories. I want to get something that is really exactly what I like. Something funny that happened and I feel like it's the first time it ever happens to me. My purse actually broke. It was so bad because it was a new purse. I mean, I got it from a thrift shop, but still for me, it was new. I barely used it like two or three times. But when we were at the British Museum, while I was walking, the, fur the purse just fell down and it completely fell apart from every side possible. So actually, my husband got me a new purse for Mother's Day and usually I would say that it's not necessary. I feel bad when someone gives too much money for a gift for me and in general, I feel uncomfortable receiving gifts or I feel the need to give back something to the person, you know. So. It's not just like one-sided. Anyways, my husband decided to surprise me and got me this beautiful, beautiful purse. It just fits my whole wardrobe and it will go with everything. It's so pretty and I love it. It's so beautiful. Now that my makeup is done and we did some chit-chatting <laughs> during that time, I am really not sure what to do with my hair. I washed it two days ago. really don't want to waste too much time on that. So maybe I'll just leave it natural. Another product I'm gonna show you just because it's so good is actually a fragrance mist. The moment I smelled this, I knew I needed to get it. It smells like pure vanilla. It's by Bershka Vanilla Cloud. It says vanilla car and caramel. If you don't like sweet things, you won't like it, but I fell in love with it. You can spray it on your hair, on your body, on your clothes, just around the room. It stays for so long and it smells so good. And actually, my daughter noticed this first and she showed it to me and now we're sharing. Now that my makeup and hair is done, I'm gonna get dressed and get going. So let's go pick an outfit. So guys, I am done and I am going out. I need to go grocery shopping really quick and go to the mall. If you want to see my full outfit, you can go follow me on TikTok. I use it mainly for like outfit diary just to remember what I wore. In conclusion, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, whatever you like. Thank you for every comment you leave me on every video. It means a lot to me, especially since I'm a small channel and I'm still growing here on YouTube. Thank you for the emails you, some of you send me. Have a nice day or night whenever you're watching this and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye!